contributions in vital numerical studies, the plasticity effect on the behavior of short steel columns filled with concrete was actually. Composite constructions of steel and concrete offer significant advantages over the conventional steel or concrete elements. Therefore, composite elements have the benefits of both materials. To avoid the costly experimental testing, we simulated the behavior of CFST using a finite element model. The steel tubes are modeled in order to simulate different plastic state behaviors, namely linear elastic plastic, multilinear hardening elastic plastic, and the model proposed by Tao and All, while the concrete core is simulated by Mender's model. Each component was modeled as an independent part. The steel tube and the concrete were modeled using the 8 node reduced integration linear brick element C3D8R available in the Abacus library. The models are subjected to actual compression loading, represented by an imposed displacement applied to the separation plate. All of the models converge at the ultimate load. However, the perfect elastoplastic model presents better behavior. All three tubes show local buckling. The curves follow a nonlinear elastoplastic behavior with the highest lateral strain value corresponding to the T3C3 tube model by the theory proposed by Taub, reaching 25% with local buckling at its end, which has been observed by many authors. The majority of the vertical compression strains show plastic flow with large strains reaching an average of 30%. We note, however, that the T3C1 and T3C2 tubes gave lateral and vertical strains of the same order. The effect of confinement have an important outcome on the stress-strain relationship. Under actual compression, confined by the steel tube, the concrete core expands laterally. Then an increase in the strength and ductility of concrete is observed. We also notice a very good correlation between the experimental, theoretical, and numerical results, with sometimes a small difference not exceeding 10%. The numerical model with perfect elastoplastic behavior gives a behavior very close to reality compared to the experimental tests. The T3C1 and T3C2 tubes show similar failure modes for the different behavior laws, which leads us to assume that the variation of the plasticity behavior laws do not influence the behavior of the model, but we can assume that the improvement of the material characteristics can have a positive effect.